Yo, you rocking with the real drill, aka drill, and I'm here with Fuchsia's TV. Let's get at it. <laughs> Now I'm spashing on them, that's a two, three Michael Jordan nigga, chopper six feet Chain on me nigga, that's a Cuban link Purple in my stomach, whole pint of lean Beating up the pussy my Alright man, let the people know we got on Fuchsia's TV right now The Real Drill, aka Drill Find me on everything The Real Drill, D-R-E-E-L You know what the fuck it is Okay man, where you coming from man, what you, you represent? I'm repping New Bern, North Carolina Grew up there um, my hometown is uh, Pamlico County. Oh, right. So like, I've been to New Bern. It's like it's, it's country and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. How was it growing up for you in New Bern? I mean, I was probably just like everywhere. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got good crowd, bad crowd, and me, I'm just in between. You know what I'm saying? Because uh, I'm black and white, so people treat me uh, different. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So. It was just hard for me. It was like harder kind of, cause people like like the judge and shit. So, I mean, I kind of stayed. I try to stay away from the bad crowds, but I ended up fucking around, fucking up in school, shit like that. So, did you get in a lot of like fights and shit, like growing up? Um, I got jumped twice. Uh, yeah. I got in one school fight where I jumped somebody, and that was at New Bern High School, but I graduated at Pentonville High School. Okay, so um, when did you start taking rap seriously? I started uh, I started taking rap seriously like two years ago. Two years ago. Yeah. Is there anybody that inspired you to start rapping, or it was a certain situation? Mm, as far as being inspired, uh, Lil Wayne, Eminem, people like that is who I like listen to a lot and who I'm inspired by, but like. J. Cole is another person that really inspired me, so. Yeah. Okay. So, um, talk to the people about your, your you know, your, your new mixtape. You know what I'm saying? The fuck your mixtape. Um, I released one, the first one, uh, Fuck Your Mixtape, uh, which had the Trill Sammy diss song on it. Yeah, we gotta talk about that, which man. Which a lot of people was wondering why I dissed them. And, um, I released the second one recently which has a lot of views and downloads on it also, which people fuck with. It made front page of the Spinnerilla too, so y'all yeah. go check that out. So what happened with, like, why did you diss Trill Sammy? So, uh, at first, I mean, I wasn't even really gonna do it, you know what I'm saying, but I just had it, I don't know, <laughs> I just had to, you know what I'm saying? And then the nigga was like trying to overcharge me and shit, like, I had one of my homeboys hit him up for feature. He trying to charge him lower than me and shit. So I was like, what the fuck? Yeah. And then I had people coming at me saying, oh, you trying to dress like him. You trying to be like him. So I was like, well, fuck it. I this the nigga then. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, that's how it ended up happening. And I kind of, I mean, I got some clout off of it too, so. Yeah. Fuck it. That's what had happened. And he ugly, so shit. <laughs> <laughs> that's like a lot of people. You got beef with him, and then you got Chain Snatch and Greensboro, so I thought, uh, you know, I ain't know where, where did this come from, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Hey, yeah, I fuck with dude too out there, yeah. I Ooh. know the nigga that stole his chain and shit too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, um, you know, you got different songs like Lately, you know, Diddy, mm -hmm. Since 92, Trap. Um, Talk about your style of music, you know what I'm saying? I feel like you versatile, because you can do it. Yeah. I, um... I like to make, like people always say they like somebody want to sound like somebody or that. I don't give a fuck what people say, but I like to make music that I like to hear, and I like listen to. I listen to R and B, listen to rock, listen to jazz, listen to country, I listen to trap. Not just trap. Everybody listen to trap. And it's, I'm over all that shit. Yeah. I listen to all types of shit. So as far as me, like like being versatile, I like to. You know what I'm saying? I don't want people to automatically think I'm always gonna put out trap music and shit. So yeah. I like to keep it different. Okay. I mean, now on, on your videos on YouTube, you know what I'm saying? You be getting a lot of views, but you be getting a lot of hate too in your comments. Yeah. Um, how do you deal with that? I try to ignore it. Um, I mean, that's all I really do. I mean, I, I ignore it most of the time. I try to stay off of Social media a lot too, cause people do say a lot of fucked up shit, but I don't really pay it no mind. Yeah. Okay. But that's how I really been with that. 
I mean, you use that as motivation too. Yep. <laughs> Shit on them. Yep. I see. Now, um, the song with uh, the baby just won't. How how did that collabo come about? Um, I was checking out his uh, work for a while, and um, I ended up linking up with his manager, uh, Carter, and uh, me and him talked for a minute, and um, we just it just ended up happening. I mean. And he was a cool ass nigga and shit. So, like in the future, we supposed to be linking up some more. So we supposed to be having some more shit come out too. Okay. Now, um, your yeah, Instagram pictures and shit like that, man. You be having, you know, pictures with a lot of money. Um, what's the most you ever seen at one time? Mm. I say like seventy five, eighty, some shit like. Eighty man. Yeah. Do you worry about like you know? Cops and shit, checking out the Instagrams and checking out the videos, cause you you know you be having guns in your videos too. So do you worry about that? Um, I don't give a fuck, really, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I really don't give a fuck. <laughs> I mean, if shit if it happened, it happened. But I mean, I try to stay safe. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, I just be posting regular shit. Sometimes I'll be thinking, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> just yeah. just post shit. But yeah, I mean. Yeah, I do think about it, like, damn, I don't know if I should have posted that shit, yeah. but I like, nah. I'm like, fuck it. Cause you seen that video when your old buddy was flashing money and the cops broke in on him. Like he, <laughs> you, you seen that shit? The yeah. Facebook Live? So I wonder, like, do niggas really be worrying about what they put on social media? Well, I mean, you see, the, you, you'll see me locked up, you'll be like, free drill, cause <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's what it is, I guess. You know what I'm saying. Yeah. So what about the, you know, you be drinking a lot of lean too, man. Hell yeah. Um, um, as far as that, like, uh, with the lean, like, you gotta be cautious of that because people around here like to sell a lot of fake shit and shit. So, like, all the, like, most of the time you spend money on lean, you spend a lot of fucking money on that shit. So, how much it cost? I heard it. You cost. spend at least almost up to a thousand dollars on that shit. And over over a thousand on that shit. For the just for the bottom? Yep. Damn, bro. For a straight up prescription. You got niggas out here drinking bottles and shit that ain't got they ain't getting no prescription for and shit. So how much do you think you, you spent on lean ever since you started drinking? <laughs> like how much do you think you can say? I'm trying to think. Uh I can say, I just started drinking it too, not too long ago, like probably like last year, so it was probably towards the end of last year, probably like, like 2000 something, I ain't even really, oh, so, yeah, oh, so, so you ain't drinking like that, yeah, okay. I, most time I, I don't even buy the whole bottle of shit, fuck that, yeah, I mean I will, but, nah, fuck, that. I ain't buying the whole damn bottle, that shit, <laughs> okay. spend all my money on that shit, now, now how, how the ladies treating you, bro? You know, the, the thoughts, the groupies, you know what I'm saying? I yeah. try to ignore that too. <laughs> I'm trying to ignore it, like, stay yeah, focused. Yeah, because, I mean, I got a girl and shit, so. Oh, I mean, God. yeah, I got, I had a baby last year, and then I got another one I'm about to have now in like a week. She's doing like a week, so that would be baby number two. Okay. And I already got two other kids, so. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. So, so what you working on um, next? Um, I got an EP coming out. Um, and I'm trying to think of like some big name people I'm gonna put on that. I was thinking about skipping the flipper or something like that. Yeah. Maybe Pee Wee Longworth. But um, as far as that, I'm just gonna look and get it mixed and mastered professionally and pushed and see what, what happens from there. Probably put it on the front of my mixtape so y'all probably see it out there sooner or later. Then you do a summer project pack? Yeah. Damn, that's dope, bro. How the hell y'all link on that? Um, that's another thing. My girl, uh, she set that up for me, which she helps me a lot with a lot of my shit. So I yeah. thank her for that. But um, with Project Pat, uh, he a cool ass dude too. Um, that's dope. We linked up at the hotel, we shot the video, or whatever. And I did have to pay him. I'm going to tell you that. But uh, I paid him. But in the long run, it helped me. You know what I'm saying? Because now that I paid him and I'm working with him. I got shows and shit with him now. And I got a show coming up in Cleveland, Ohio, so. Damn, that's dope. Mm-hmm. 
That's what it is. So uh, explain this butter talk. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I said you got a song with um, Michael like Traps and yeah. butter and shit. Like, what, what is that, bro? Butter is like money, gold, like basically like like just how people running with sauce. Like you know what I'm saying? Like people got the drip sauce. That we got the butter shit, butter gang and shit. Yeah. So like I mean, you just be ripping butter gang and shit, just putting everything on butter. Like, I don't know, throwing butter at bitches, like, <laughs> <laughs> Your own lingo, basically, right? Yeah, so we just started running with it one day. It was like, that shit kind of funny. So we just started doing skits and shit, and people was, was fucking with the skits, and they were like, yo, that shit kind of is really funny, and we just kept, like, running with it from there. Okay. All right, man, so, um, what, you know, if somebody trying to find your music, trying to get you for a feature, where can they follow you at? Um, for featuring, featuring and uh, booking, you can go to drill, D R E E L T S F A at gmail dot com, and then my Instagram, Facebook, Twitter is all the same name, and that's at the real drill, and that's D R E E L too. Okay. Now before we got here, you want to give me a shout out? Uh, I mean, I get a shout out to God, you know what I'm saying? If it, if it wasn't for him, like, none of this shit be possible and shit. And That's real. My mom's, I mean, a lot of people, I mean, we're like, I can't say that. A lot of people ain't really. You said it, nobody helped you with nothing. Like, I mean, just, like, as far as me like, pushing my shit, it, like, like, people didn't want to show you, people around North Carolina don't want to show nobody love and shit, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's hard as fuck for artists to. That come together. People don't want to come together. They want to keep hating on this person. Oh, because he dressed like this. Or, yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's, it would be easier for people to get their music out there and push it if they actually came together. You know what I'm saying? But, well, it's like you invested a lot in yourself, though. Like, yeah, you know, like a, you got the shirt. You know what I'm saying? You got. You yeah, I've been invested a lot. Yeah. That's what it is. But yeah, as far as looking me up, everybody go find my shit on Spotify, SoundCloud. My shit streaming on uh, SoundCloud too, and um, uh, a whole bunch of shit. So Shazam, again. Uh, as for my shit is for sale on Amazon too. Okay. So, yeah.